إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما يقول ربنا جل في علاه في كتابه الكريم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار نعوذ بالله من النار Brothers and sisters in Islam We begin with the praise of Allah سبحانه وتعالى and we bear witness that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah and we also bear witness that Muhammad is the servant and the final messenger of Allah peace be upon him, all of his family members and all of his companions Ameen, Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim Walillahi Alhamd All praises are due to Allah alone We are just one day away from the blessed month Ramadan Allahumma balighna Ramadan, Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. It is a ni'mah, it is a great blessing upon us from Allah to come this close to the best month of the year. Therefore, we ask him subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us rich this month peacefully and safely and complete it as successfully as he wishes. Jalla fi'ulah, Ameen, Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim. For indeed, there were many of us close to us, related to us, our friends, our brothers and sisters in Islam, who are looking forward to fast and welcome this Ramadan. However, they're not with us today. They made their way to Allah by His permission, Jalla Fi'ula. Some of them are our parents, our friends, our cousins, and Muslims all over the world who are looking forward to this Ramadan, but they're not with us especially during the crisis of COVID-19 within the last two or three years, many lives were gone. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy on every Muslim that passed away. And may Allah also subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy on us and forgive our sins and make us from those who follow his beloved Rasul Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam at all times in good times and in hard times. Ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. So let us be thankful to Allah. Alhamdulillah. Ikhwat al-Imani wal-Islam. Hadihi min ni'am Allah Azza wa Jal. It is again another blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep giving us this special Islamic occasions. Al-Mawasim al-Islamiyya. Mithil al-Siyam fi shahar Sha'ban wa al-Siyam fi Ramadan wa yawm Ashura wa yawm Arafa wa lillahi alhamd. These are all occasions where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calls the Muslims to take advantage of them because the reward within these occasions is much better and much more than the rewards you receive in normal days of the year. As we know, walillahi alhamd. Here we are given the opportunity in the month of Ramadan to turn to Allah. Allah qal fil Quran al-Kareem, وَاللَّهُ يَدْعُوا إِلَىٰ دَارِ السَّلَامِ يعني إِلَىٰ الْجَنَّةِ Allah invites to the house of peace, the house of Jannah. And Allah also subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَاللَّهُ يُرِيدُ أَنْ يَتُوبَ عَلَيْكُمْ وَيُرِيدُ الَّذِينَ يَتَّبِعُونَ الشَّهَوَاتِ أَنْ تَمِيلُوا مَيْلًا عَظِيمًا Allah wishes to offer you repentance and accept it from you. However, those who follow haram desires would wish to misguide you greatly. 
if you follow the people of haram desires, you will be very far from your creator, very far from your faith. But if you take advantage of these occasions, which Allah prescribed for us in his Quran and the sunnah of his Rasul, such as Ramadan, then Allah will welcome us, will accept our repentance and keep offering us repentance and keep us on the right path. And here Ramadan comes. فَهَلْ مِنْ تَائِبْ Is there anyone wishing to repent and turn to Allah? We are a day away from it. Today could be the first night of Ramadan as we know. Today could be the first night of Qiyam Taraweeh. Make your tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rectify your errors and your mistakes that you've been committing the last 12 or 11 months. It's your chance to start Ramadan with a pure heart, with a good heart, free from all the things which Allah dislikes, starting with the shirk. As we know in Sha'ban, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it is reported in some kind of authentic hadith that on the 15th night of Sha'ban, he comes down to the first heaven and he forgives all the believers, illa li mushrikin wa mutashahin, except to a person who commits shirk, a non-Muslim, as well as someone who has shahna, grudge against another brother or sister in Islam. Allah would not forgive these two types of people. So alhamdulillah, we are not mushrikeen, we are the people of Tawheed. But we tend to have an issue with the second matter, and that's having a grudge against another Muslim. Have you set your heart free from that? To have shahna or grudge another, against another Muslim means you have hate towards them, and you're waiting for any chance to take revenge against them. This is not a quality of a follower of Muhammad sallallahu In another hadith, Rasulullah sallallahu says, that Allah says in hadith Qudsi, فَأَخِرُهُمَا حَتَّى يَسْطَلِحَا Delay these two people who have shahna until they make peace. It means you will not be forgiven. So my message to you, purify your heart with Allah. A.e. pure tawheed and monotheism, staying from everything that is shirk. And number two, purify your heart from such negative qualities, such as having grudge and hate, not for Allah's cause, but for dunya's purposes. Before Ramadan comes, Allah says, Those who will be successful, no money and no wealth. No money and no wealth will be beneficial for you, except those who come to meet Allah with pure hearts. Number one, pure hearts towards Allah, and number two, towards the creations of Allah, specifically those who submit to Allah, i.e. the Muslims. That's how we welcome Ramadan, by Tawbah, starting a new page, forgiving and moving on, insha'Allah ta'ala. Ikhwat al-Imani wal-Islam. Many of us have the wrong image of Ramadan. We think Ramadan is the month of resting, eating, drinking, entertainment, and praying taraweeh, and this is it. No, Ramadan, according to the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is the month of determination, is the month of striving hard for Allah's cause like no other days of the year, as we know. If you ask yourself, when was the first major battle for the Muslim community at the time of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم? It was the Battle of Badr, of course, and it took place on the 17th day of Ramadan. The second year after the Muslims migrated to Medina. Did the Prophet rest in Ramadan? To prepare for a battle, it takes days and sometimes weeks and months. And to march from Mecca, from Medina to Mecca, to where Badr is, because it's close to Mecca, it takes days, if not weeks. They worked hard. Ask yourself again, the conquest of Mecca, Fathu Mecca, when did it take place? Mata Futihat Mecca? Futihat fi shahar Ramadan. The 20th day of Ramadan, on the 8th year of migration in Medina, Rasulullah marched with 10,000 companions, giving their life for Allah's cause, not knowing whether they're going to come back to Medina alive or not. They submitted everything they had to Allah and before Allah. 10,000 companions, men and women, from amongst the Muslims, from all over Arabia and elsewhere too, marched from Medina to Mecca with one intention, بِنِيَّةٍ وَاحِدَةٍ يُحَرِّرُونَ الْمَكَّةِ الْكَعْبَةِ مِنَ الشِّرْكِ 
إلى ملة إبراهيم عليه السلام with one intention and that's to free مكة from polytheism, from shirk and idolatry worshipping idols to the Milla, to the faith and the way of Ibrahim alayhi salam, monotheism, the Tawheed of Allah and they did successfully, when was that? on the 20th of Ramadan how long it takes you to march from Medina to Mecca? at least 10 days or 12 days depending how you're walking and what you're riding in that heat of the desert did the Prophet rest? of course it was optional for the Sahaba to fast because they are Musafirin they are on a journey, travelers but we're not surprised that many of the Sahaba of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, when they traveled with him they chose to fast during the travel that's why it's optional to choose to fast or not to fast it all goes back to your ability and they marched this is the hard work of our Rasul وسلم. so my message to you is not the month of rest it's the month of striving for Allah's cause like no other days of the year you want Ramadan to finish while what? Your sins are wiped off. رَغِمَ أَنفُ عَبْدٍ رَغِمَ أَنفُ عَبْدٍ دَخَلَ عَلَيْهِ رَمَضَانٍ وَلَمْ يُغْفَرْ لَهِ The true loser is a person who witnesses the month of Ramadan and then Ramadan finishes while his or her sins were not forgiven. You don't want to be that person. Therefore, strive for Allah's cause in this month and take it as an advantage like no other days of the year, Ikhwat al Iman al Islam. But start now by purifying your heart as well as repenting to Allah and rectifying your affairs, specifically with the brothers and the sisters. They could be your own siblings, your own wife, your own spouse, your own neighbors. Rectify those issues, inshallah ta'ala. Ikhwat al Iman al Islam. This is the sunnah of our Rasul, sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Let me remind those of you. The best actions within the month of Ramadan that one should do and strive very hard to increase are the followings. As we know, when Allah mentioned Ramadan in the Quran Kareem, He mentioned two things. Shahru Ramadan alladhi unzila fihi al-Quran. Limada ya Allah hudan lil-nasi wa bayyinatin min al-huda wal-furqan. Idhan shahru Ramadan huwa shahru al-Quran. Tilawatan wa tadabburan wa hifzan. The month of Ramadan is all about the Qur'an of Allah since it was revealed in that blessed month. Recite it, try to complete it, memorize, reflect on it, study its meaning, whatever you can do as long as you are with the Qur'an within the month of Ramadan. Let no day pass without you reading or reflecting on the Qur'an. That's one. And then within the same verse where Allah spoke about Ramadan, He says, فَمَنْ شَهِدَ مِنْكُمُ الشَّهْرَ فَلْيَصُمْحَ as for those of you who witness the month, must fast in it. As-Siyam. The second main worship in Ramadan is what? Is a siyam Or the first. Siyam and Quran are the first worships for Ramadan. It's a clear order from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then you have other options which Sunnah recommends very strongly. Such as... What many Muslims are hesitating to do this day specifically, whereas the Prophet recommended it, and the reward for that is very generous, and that's Umrah in the, in the month of Ramadan. Umrah in the month of Ramadan, as the Prophet وسلم, mentioned to the lady who was asking about Hajj, he says, Umrah in Ramadan, ta'dilu Hajjah. Yani fil ajr, la fil wajib, la yasqut al wajib, lakin fil ajr, ta'dil Hajjah, Hajj, walillahi alhamd. One Umrah that is made in Ramadan is equal in reward to Hajj. The obligations of Hajj will not be dropped off if you do Umrah in Ramadan. You will still have to do Hajj if you're able to do so. But the reward wise, that's the same. Many Muslims are hesitating to go and visit the house of Allah because of the COVID crisis we've been experiencing in the last two years. But Alhamdulillah, the Saudi authorities lifted this uh, these restrictions and now you can make Umrah many people I know walillahi alhamd are making their journeys to Umrah as well as booking for Hajj as long as you're able to do so physically and financially of course do not let the environment around us with COVID restrictions whatever it is deprive you from fulfilling one of the major one of the major rituals of Islam such as Umrah or Hajj 
As long as the authorities allow it, do not hesitate if you fulfill the conditions of Umrah and, and Hajj. Nothing should come between you and, and the worship of Allah. Nothing. I'm saying this because I want to revive this. The house of Allah belongs to Allah. It doesn't belong to a king or an authority or an imam or a community of people. It belongs to everyone who worships Allah alone and follows Muhammad and Al-Anbiya alayhim wassalamu ajma'in. Make your visit to the house of Allah. If you can, inshallah ta'ala. Let's not neglect this, inshallah ta'ala. And of course the qiyam in the taraweeh, as I mentioned, possibly tonight will be the first night of Ramadan. So you are invited to pray taraweeh in wherever masjid you can, inshallah ta'ala. That's convenient for you, inshallah ta'ala. To revive the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad, وسلم, since he said, Man qama ramadana imanan wahtisaban, ghufira lahu ma taqaddama, min dhanbi. He or she who stands in prayer the whole month of Ramadan with iman, believing in Allah, and seeking reward from Allah, all your past sins will be forgiven. Wa aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum, wa li sa'i al-muslimina fa astaghfiruhu wa tubu lih, innahu huwa al-ghafur rahim. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala Muhammadin nabiyillah. إخوة الإيمان والإسلام من فضائل هذا الشهر المبارك ما جاء في الصحيح ولله الحمد قال عليه أفضل الصلاة والتسليم إذا جاء رمضان فتحت أبواب الجنة وغلقت أبواب النار وصفدت الشياطين من صام رمضان إيمانا واحتسابا غفر له ما تقدم من ذنبه من قام رمضان إيمانا واحتسابا غفر له ما تقدم من ذنبه من قام ليلة القدر إيمانا واحتسابا غفر له ما تقدم من ذنبه قد جاءكم شهر مبارك أيها الناس كما قال عليه السلام فيه ليلة خير من ألف شهر من حرمها حرم الخير كله يعني ليلة القدر هي صلى الله عليه وسلم mentioned when Ramadan comes the gates of Jannah will be open the gates of Jahannam will be closed and the demons the devils will be locked up bear in mind that you need to understand this hadith correctly the shayateen, the devils, will be chained up in the month of Ramadan. This virtue, this is not for everyone. This is only for the Muslims who turn to Allah in the month of Ramadan. Who follow the sunnah for Rasulullah in the month of Ramadan. As for those Muslims who choose to continue their haram, they're deprived from this virtue. That's why we still see, unfortunately, some Muslims in the month of Ramadan committing major sins day and night. May Allah guide us and them. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Why? Because this virtue, the demons, will only be stopped from who? From those Muslims who are upright within this month. As for the rest of the Muslims who choose not to, the gates of Allah for Tawbah are all open. As long as they have the intention and the action to do so, Allah will embrace them. But if they choose not to, Inna hadaynahu sabila imma shakiran. Allah gave you the choice to be grateful or ungrateful in this dunya, but in the hereafter you'll have no choice. Allah's choice, subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah guide us and all Muslims. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Ikhwat al-Imani wal-Islam. He also, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, mentioned, as I mentioned in the Arabic hadith earlier, he who fasts the whole month of Ramadan with Iman and seeking reward from Allah, all your past sins will be forgiven. He who stands in prayer on Laylatul Qadr, which happens to be within the last 10 nights of Ramadan in an odd number. If you stand in prayer in Laylatul Qadr, Iman, and seeking with Iman and seeking within Allah, all your past sins will be forgiven. Another hadith he mentioned, a blessed month has come to you. Within this month, there is one night that is better than 1,000 months. Whoever is deprived from the reward and the goodness of this month, then you're deprived from all goodness. Be not that person who will be deprived from the goodness and the virtues which come with Laylatul Qadr. It's better than 1,000 months of worship. It's a lifetime of worship, almost 83 years, if you strive hard on that night. But we should not rely only on Laylatul Qadr. We should worship Allah at all times. In Ramadan, outside Ramadan, as Allah says, وَعْبُدَ رَبَّكَ حَتَّى يَأْتِيَكَ الْيَقِينَ Worship your Lord until certainty comes to you, i.e. until you die. But in occasions like that, a Muslim should be wise, should be smart, take advantage of them because they are there for a purpose. Allah يُرِيدُ أَيْ يَتُوبَ عَلَيْكُمْ Allah wishes to offer you repentance and accept it from you. That's why you heard all this ahadith I mentioned earlier, 
All your past sins will be forgiven. Why your sins? Because if your sins are forgiven, you will win by the Lord of the Kaaba on the Day of Judgment, and you will have what everybody dreams to have. And that's the Jannah of Allah. And that's our main aim in this life, to please Allah and be guided to His Jannah. May Allah grant us His Jannah and our parents. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Ikhwat al-Iman wa islam Let us strive very hard. And let us start a new start, a new page. Rectify our errors. Reconnect to Allah. Uh, reconcile with our brothers and sisters. Uh, with those specifically who we have issues with. And insha'Allah ta'ala. We will be from the followers of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We will pass the test of Ramadan. And we will gain its virtues and its reward. For as long as we are obeying our creator. And following our Rasul. Sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Remind your family. Remind your children of the virtues and the importance of Ramadan. Educate them. Root inside them this nature of Islamic identity. It's your duty. Take them to Madrasa. Take them to Masjid. We have nearly two weeks off now Easter holidays in the UK. Take advantage of taking your children to Taraweeh. Taking them to Jumu'ah prayer. Taking them to any Islamic event. That's how you generate inside them the love of Allah and the love of Islam. And if you don't do that, then you fail them before they fail themselves. May Allah protect Muslim youth everywhere. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Allahumma aiz al-Islam wal-Muslimin. Wansu al-Muslimin fi kulli makan. Wahqin dima'ahum wa kun a'una al-Ikhwatina al-Lajiina wal-Mankubina fi kulli makan. اللهم فك أسى المظلومين من المسلمين في كل مكان ربنا ارحم والدينا كما ربونا صغارا ربنا ارحم والدينا كما ربونا صغارا ربنا ارحم والدينا كما ربونا صغارا اللهم بلغنا رمضان اللهم بلغنا رمضان اللهم بلغنا رمضان وآخر دعوانا الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أفضل النبيين والمرسلين محمد بن عبد الله وعلى آله وصحابته أجمعين وأقيموا الصلاة يرحمني ويرحمكم الله